everyone welcome to a new crochet tutorial last week in the community tab of my channel i posted this picture of the tablecloth that i saw outside of a small business in downtown lincoln which is a small town in northern california i asked my viewers if you would like to see thread crochet projects on my channel such as doilies and tablecloths many of you said yes Thank you so much for commenting, encouraging me and motivating me to create a tablecloth of my own. And that's what I want to share with you today. Because this is my first one ever, I decided to keep it very basic. The motifs are simple and each one has only five rounds. I used 100% mercerized cotton yarn, which is a category 3 or DK yarn. So the tablecloth is easy to work and it will not take forever to make as a thread crochet tablecloth would. But of course I can create one with thread as well. But I just want to see if there's going to be enough interest in this kind of project on my channel. It takes a lot of time and effort to create a design to finish the project, to film and edit the tutorial. And if in the end only a few people are interested in this video, that would be very disappointing and discouraging for me. So please do let me know in the comments below if you are interested to see more tablecloth projects, if you want it made with yarn or thread, if you would want it made of motifs like this one, or if you want to see a one-piece tablecloth, I appreciate your comments and all of your feedback. Now to the technical part of this tutorial. I used Patton's Grace yarn, which is 100% mercerized cotton, and I work with a hook size F 3.75 millimeters. I made my tablecloth 5x4 motifs. I intended to make it 5x5 five five motifs, but unfortunately I ran out of yarn, so my finished tablecloth is rectangular in shape and not square. However, in the written pattern, I made the calculations for 5x5 five five motif tablecloths. I used 6 skeins of yarn for my tablecloths, but for 5x5 five five one, you will need 7 skeins of yarn. The measurements of my tablecloths are 40 by 29 inches, but for a square 5x5 five five motifs, it will be 40 inches by 40 inches. I start the first motif with 8 chains. one two eight and i join them into a ring with a slip stitch next three chains one two three these three chains will count as my first double crochet now i'm going to work 19 double crochets into the ring and I'm going to crochet over this short yarn tail so it gets hidden. Here I worked 19 double crochets and with the first three chains it counts as I have 20 double crochets. And now I join this round with a slip stitch in top chain of the beginning chain 3. So this is my first round. I start the next round with 4 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 of these chains will count as the first double crochet and 1 chain will count as chain 1 space. Now into the next double crochet I work a double crochet. 1 chain, into the next double crochet I work a double crochet. 1 chain, and a double crochet into the next double crochet and that's how I continue crocheting this round. At the end of the round, after the last double crochet, I make one chain and join with a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain 4. I start the next round with 3 chains. These 3 chains count as my first double crochet. Now into the same stitch as joining, I work two double crochets, one, two. Now into the next double crochet, I work three double crochets, 
one, two, three. Into the next double crochet, I work three double crochets. One, two, three. And that's how I continue working three double crochets into each double crochet all the way around. And at the end I join with a slip stitch into the top chain of the beginning three chains. In this round I have 60 double crochets. I start the next round with two chains, one, two, and now over the next two double crochets I will work two double crochets finished together. So I make my first double crochet but I don't finish it and into the next double crochet I work the second double crochet and now I finish them all together. Next seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and over the next three double crochets I will work three double crochets finished together. So I work the first double crochet but I don't finish it. Into the next double crochet I work one more and into the next one the third one and now I finish them all together. Again seven chains one two three four five six seven and over the next three double crochets I work three double crochets finished together. One, two, three. And again seven chains and then three double crochets finished together all the way around. At the end of the round I don't make the last chain seven loop, instead I work three chains and I join with a double crochet in top of this first cluster. So I insert the hook under the three loops and I make a double crochet. And this brings the hook and the yarn into the position for the next round. I start the next round with one chain and this loop and into this loop, same loop, I make one single crochet. Next seven chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and into the next chain loop I work a single crochet. Now again seven chains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and into the next chain loop or chain space I work a single crochet. Seven chains and a single crochet. And at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet and now I can fasten off and cut the yarn tail. I'm going to hide the yarn tail using a smaller size hook. It's just so much more convenient that way. Here is my first motif, it's ready and now I'm going to start working on the second one and the first four rounds of the second motif are gonna be worked exactly the same way as the first one. I crocheted four rounds of the second motif and now while crocheting the next round, the last one, I'm going to join this motif to the first one and here is how I do it. I start with one chain and a single crochet into the loop. Then instead of making seven chains, I work three. One, two, three. I take the first motif and the wrong sides of the motifs should be facing each other. And now I make a single crochet into the chain seven loop of the first motif. Next three chains, one, two, three and into the next chain seven space of the second motif, this is the motif in progress, the one that I'm finishing, 
I make a single crochet. So now I have two motifs joined over there and I do it one more time. So three chains and into the next chain seven loop of the first motif I work a single crochet then three chains and into the next loop of the second motif or the motif in progress I work a single crochet so now I have these two motifs joined at two loops right there now I simply gonna finish crocheting all the way around of the second motif so now it's chain seven and a single crochet into the next chain seven loop chain seven and a single crochet into the next chain seven loop all the way around and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet and now I can fasten off and hide the yarn tail now I will continue crocheting motifs and during the last round the fifth round I will join the motif to the adjacent motifs at the two loops leaving three loops one two three in between unworked these three loops will be filled in later with filling lace so for example the next motif I will join at these two loops so I joined over here then one two three I skip those and the next motif will be joined over here this is my next motif and I start the fifth round with a chain and single crochet then three chains and like I said I will be joining over here making a single crochet over here and I need to make sure that all the motifs are facing the right side up but when I join like this the wrong sides are facing each other so I make a single crochet over here leaving these three loops in between then three chains and back to this loop in progress into the next chain seven space I work a single crochet then three chains and into this motif that I'm joining to into the next loop I make a single crochet and then chain three and back to the motif in progress into the next loop I make a single crochet so now that's what I have and I'm gonna continue crocheting all the way around to finish that fifth round I have three motifs joined and my next motif I will join over here but also over here so here skipping three loops from where I already joined so one two three so I will join to these two loops and then on this one again skipping three loops one two three so I will join to these two so I'm gonna start with joining here then continue crocheting join here and then finish the last round of this next motif and as I join I need to make sure that all the motifs are facing the same direction with the right side so when I join the wrong sides are facing each other let's take a look again four motifs are joined at two loops and in between three loops are unworked one two three one two three one two three and one two three and this space right here will be filled in later now I will continue crocheting motifs and joining them in the fifth round to the rest of my joint motifs so over here and over here then over here and over here and so on and now let me show you how the fill-in lace is gonna be worked in this space 
and for the purpose of the tutorial I will use a different color yarn so that you can see better how this fill-in lace is worked. I start by joining yarn into the free loop of any of my motifs and it doesn't really matter which loop I choose. So I'm gonna join it over here. Now seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five of these chains will count as my first double treble and two chains will count as chain two space. Next I work a double treble into the next chain seven loop. So yarn over three times and I work my stitch one, two, three. Now two chains one, two and into the next chain 7 loop I work a double treble again 1, 2, 3, yarn over 3 times and I work my stitch 2 chains 1, 2 this is where the motifs were joined but here is the next free loop this is the free loop on the next motif and into this chain 7 loop I work a double treble and two chains one two and again into the next chain 7 loop a double treble two chains and into the next chain 7 loop a double treble two chains into the next chain 7 loop because these are joined ones but the free one over here a double treble again chain two and a double treble into the next loop and into the next one so all the way around this is how i continue crocheting just making trebles into each free loop and in between trebles i work two chains so here i crocheted double trebles into each loop and after the last one i made two chains and now i join with a slip stitch into the fifth chain of these seven beginning chains. So right here. Let's see what it looks like. So this was the first round of the fill and lace. And now I'm going to make one more round, which I start with three chains. One, two three and these three chains count as my first double crochet now into the same space as joining i work one more double crochet into the next treble i work two double crochets one and two and into the next treble again i work two double crochets one two into the next treble i work two double crochets one two and i continue crocheting like this all the way around and at the end of the round i join with a slip stitch in top chain of the beginning three chains so let's take a look. This is what the fill-in lace looks like. I will fasten off and hide the yarn tail, but of course for the actual tablecloth I will use the same color yarn. And right now it doesn't look so good, but once the tablecloth is finished 
and blocked, it will look much better. I showed you how to make this motif, how to join the motifs together in the fifth round, and how to make the fill and lace. The last part of this tutorial is to crochet around the perimeter of the tablecloth to make a nice edging. To do that, I join yarn into any free loop. I make one chain, and now I crochet six single crochets into this chain seven loop. Two, three, four, five, six. And into the next chain seven loop, again, I work six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into the next one, six single crochets again. And that's how I continue crocheting. Over here, I have two motifs joined. So I have these smaller loops. And into each one of them, I work three single crochets. One, two, three. And into the next one, three single crochets. One, two, three. And now into each of the next chain seven loops, I will work six single crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And into the next one, six single crochets again, all the way over here. And where I have two motifs joined into these smaller loops, I will work only three single crochets here and here. And over here, again, six single crochets. And that's how I'm going to crochet all the way around. And at the end of the round, I will join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And that would be it. The tablecloth is finished. The only thing to do is to block it. And I'm going to make a separate video to show you how I block the tablecloth using the wet block method.